In this video, we'll discuss about cholelunychia uh, and then we'll see a video of a patient with cholelunychia. So this cholelunychia in Greek means hollow nail and it's the abnormality of the nail that is characterized by thin, brittle and concave nails as shown in this picture. The nail plate, uh, they appear depressed and elevated laterally resembling a spoon shape. This can occur in newborns, children as well as in the adults. There are many causes of cholelunychia. They can be broadly classified into hereditary or congenital causes, acquired causes, and the idiopathic causes. This picture shows the coelionychia in a patient with a family history of coelionychia, suggestive of the familial coelionychia. There are many congenital disorders which can lead to coelionychia, and some of them include leopard syndrome, ectodermal dysplasia, and nail patella syndrome. Iron deficiency anemia is one of the most common causes of coelionychia, and this iron deficiency can occur due to the malnutrition, worm infestation, celiac disease, gastrointestinal blood loss, or malignancy. Sometimes, quilinikia can be the manifestation of inflammatory skin diseases like lichen planus, psoriasis, alopecia areata, diarrhea disease, and Reynolds disease. Other than those mentioned causes, there are some other systemic causes that can cause the quilinikia, which include the endocrine disorders like hypohyperthyroidism, diabetes mellitus, plumber Vincent syndrome, even in the secondary hemochromatosis, and many vascular disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, and the autoimmune disease diseases like SLE also can cause cholelinychia. Onychomycosis in the 20 nail dystrophy is also a cause of cholelinychia. There are some other exogenous causes like trauma to the nails, occupational exposure to the petroleum products in the high altitude. It can be idiopathic in newborns, I guess shown in this picture. The pathophysiology of cholelinychia is poorly understood. Many mechanisms are proposed and it's thought to be because of primary dermatosis or deficiency in the metalloenzymes or sulfur containing amino acid and there can be cholelinychia because of the nail matrix changes due to the blood flow abnormalities and cholelinychia can also occur because of the trauma and when there is poor digital blood flow uh, with the successive weakening and disruption of the soft uncle connective tissue this leads to the depression of the digital matrix and reduced iron in the iron containing enzymes in the epithelial cells leading to the cholelinychia the next theory mentions that the mechanical pressure causing the upward def uh, deformation of the lateral and distal flex Eximal iron deficit nail plates leads to the coelionychia. History and physical is important to identify the possible cause. We need to ask about the history of anemia or symptoms of the anemia. And if the coelionychia is present, we can confirm that finding by using the water drop test in which a drop of water uh, is dropped over the nail plate to see if the droplets pool in the nail, as shown in this picture. Similarly, a bead retention test can be done where a small bead can be placed in the nail plate to see if the bead is retained in the nail or not. Evaluate Evaluation involves the evaluation to find out the underlying cause, like if you are suspecting anemia, we can do the CBC, iron panel, stool routine examination, and in some cases, like if you are suspecting plumber Vincent syndrome, we can go for the surfazogram or use your endoscopy. Treatment basically is, is the treatment of the underlying disease. Iron supplements are required for those patients with iron deficiency. Iron rich diet can be advised. Similarly, the skin disorders need to be treated. Now, uh, we'll watch a video of a patient with coelunychia.